The exhortation this morning comes from Luke in chapter 7, uh, verses 36 through 50. This is that story or the history where Jesus is invited to the dinner at Simon the Pharisee's house. And during the dinner, we learn that a sinful woman began to wash Jesus' feet with her tears, wiping them with perfume and her hair, and all the while kissing Jesus' feet. Now Simon was distressed by this, and he accuses Jesus of lacking discernment. But Jesus turns the table on Simon, asking him to compare the sense of gratitude that the two debtors would have if they were both freely given unequal amounts, as different amounts as 50 versus 500 denarii. Now Simon affirms the person forgiven the larger amount would in fact be more grateful, and Jesus agrees. Here it says, Then Jesus turned to the woman and said to Simon, Do you see this woman? I entered your house, and you gave me no water for my feet, but she has washed my feet with her tears and wiped them with her hair of her head. You gave me no kiss, but this woman has not ceased to kiss my feet since the time I came in. You did not anoint my head with oil, but this woman has anointed my feet with fragrant oil. Therefore I say to you, her sins, which are many, are forgiven." For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loves little. Then he said to her, your sins are forgiven. And then he turned and exhorted her, your faith has saved you, go in peace. Well, in comparing her actions to Simon's, Jesus makes it clear that Simon is both a very poor and bigoted host. And perhaps we, like Simon, would be tempted to think that we don't need as much forgiveness as others who appear to us as more stained by the world. But notice the actions of the creditor. He freely forgave both the 50 and the 500 denarii. Even if you congratulate yourself that you have less to forgive, note this. In James 2, verse 10, it says that if you're guilty on one point of the law, you're guilty of all of it. And the penalty of death, separation from God, is applied in both cases. Simon the Pharisee drank from a fire hose of blessings, and we drink from a fire hose of God's blessings. Simon was nonetheless an ingrate, believing that his self-made righteousness, the honor shown to him as by the masses as a Pharisee, as a teacher of the law, and likely his riches, as most of the Pharisees, it says, were lovers of money, made him think that he was worthy of God's praise. Well, we we need to remember that we, in spite of how clean we are, how well off we are, are debtors who have been and daily are forgiven much, very much. And in spite of whatever lament you have for our current situation, consider Jeremiah's conclusion, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness.